Future Trend Channel is glad to welcome all of our subscribers for the date of 7 uh, September 2018. We are ready to present our point of view on how to trade major currencies in the world financial markets. Who is next uh, for the Mr. Trump at the moment? Uh, Japan or probably some other parts of the world? As you know, um, United States President already chasing such kind of countries like European Union, China or Canada in, a, in his policy of higher uh, tariffs on imported goods into uh, the United States. And uh, the last uh, kind of comments uh, from CNBC television that uh, Donald Trump is uh, mull mulling at the moment uh, probably to impose uh, higher tariffs uh, for the Japanese goods uh, coming into uh, United States. Of course, uh, that uh, should also shake the grounds of the financial markets because we still see how every day uh, United States President uh, conducting its strong kind of policy regarding so-called normalization of trading policy of the United States. Of course, uh, uh, the reaction of the Japanese yen uh, to such kind of comments was uh, uh, a little bit uh, strange uh, from one point of view, because uh, some other uh, countries in case of uh, uh, such kind of chasing uh, usually uh, tend to depreciate uh, uh, corresponding currencies. Here the situation is different, because a Japanese yen is uh, the so-called safe haven uh, currency and in such kind of environment usually uh, the Japanese yen reacts by higher pricing and uh, that's uh, uh, the same at uh, the same we uh, we are seeing at the moment because uh, let's see uh, the uh, let's see the market let's see the chart of the dollar yen at the moment uh, uh, the currency is trading around 11060 from technical point of view we uh, tested um, the uptrend line uh, in the currency uh, located around 1.10.40 uh, uh, this morning. Uh, the uptrend line uh, not uh, kind of a longer term one but uh, the current one that was drawn from the lows of uh, uh, the, from the lows of March 2018. All in all uh, the situation uh, still remains uh, more or less uh, positive for the dollar bulls here because only in case of further deepening below mm, moving coverage 200 daily line uh, that's located around 109.79 uh, also below uh, psychologically important barrier 110 also only in such kind of uh, scenario under such kind of scenario uh, the Japanese yen could really develop some further momentum to extend to extend to the upper side against uh, the United States dollar. As regarding some other currency, the euro dollar still remains quite uh, stable around 1.1620. Uh, all in all, uh, we suggest uh, that uh, the pair should extend its move to the upside while trading above uh, above uh, the formidable support level 115. As you know. Uh, most of analytics already pointed out uh, that probably the euro dollar is trying to form a base around 115. Uh, so from a short term point of view we are chasing uh, the euro dollar slightly higher while trading above 115. And uh, as you could see from our uh, list of uh, um, a list of analysis of major currencies we still keep our long trade recommendation in the euro dollar and we are ready to add to existing position at 115.30 with a stop below 114.90 and uh, also we'd like to um, emphasize uh, uh, your uh, not your attention we'd like to uh, point out uh, s uh, to some changes in our list of uh, euro crosses uh, as uh, as you know some days ago we uh, haven't uh, had uh, any kind of position here but now all the columns are full that means that we are 
a chasing uh, the euro in all kind of currencies at the moment we have some kind of positions the euro yen uh, we enter it along at 128.50 but uh, probably it's um, probably it's uh, mistaken uh, um, from a one point of view taking into account uh, the strength of the japanese yen at the moment anyway um, while above 128 uh, we will uh, try to chase uh, the euro yen uh, slightly higher in uh, the longer term run the pair should broke should break above 131 uh, where lies also um, uh, 200 day moving average line 131.18 all in all this barrier around 130.90 131.10 presents a kind of uh, strong uh, resistance at the moment that's why we are still keep uh, our long trade recommendation at 128.50 with the target at 131 and stop loss below 128.50 but again taking into account the current strength of the Japanese yen associated with the latest comments regarding future trading relations between Japan and the United States probably is a little bit premature to enter new long position in the uh, yen crosses as regarding some other pairs as uh, uh, euro sterling uh, trading around 0.98 uh, excuse me 89.90 all in all we still suggest that uh, uh, the pound uh, still has some kind of potential to extend its move to the upside after the last um, news regarding uh, improving um, improving of uh, negotiation process of the future uh, trade agreement between the European Union and uh, uh, the UK as regarding the Euro Swiss it will be very interesting uh, how the S&B will behave itself in case of further deepening in the euro swiss below a uh, strategically important support barrier located at 112 uh, we suggest uh, that uh, the snb should uh, remain uh, more or less um, relaxed uh, but in case of further move uh, let's say to the levels of 110 probably we see a kind of verbal intervention intervention uh, from the part of a uh, swiss national bank and finally a few words about a russian ruble uh, which extended its uh, slump uh, further and uh, as you could see the pair uh, uh, start to erode its um, uh, the highs of uh, 2018 allocated around 8050 in case of uh, closing on the weekly basis above this line as you could see on the weekly chart uh, there is a potential to extend the move higher to the levels of 8150 and even to the level of uh, 8354 uh, 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 all in all the situation remains quite dangerous for the russian ruble uh, from a short-term point of view but again we still suggest that from a longer term from a longer term point of view the russian ruble is probably one of the most undervalued uh, currency in the world right now thank you very much for all of your attention for those looking uh, for our uh, analysis of commodity currencies here it is we wish you a pleasant closing of this week as well as a nice weekend to all of you dear friends bye bye for now it was your future trend channel